Hello guys, welcome to Daily Techs. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to disable Samsung's GS system, which stands for Game Optimizing Service. Some smart people have figured out how to get this system app disabled or bypassed or whatever you want to call it. Let's jump into it. The first thing you will need to do would be to go to your Play Store and download NetGuard. Once NetGuard is downloaded and installed, the next thing you will need to do will be to open it up and at the top right, tap on the three dots and click on settings, click on advanced options and then toggle on manage system apps. Go back into the app section and search for game. Once this is done, you will see game booster, game launcher and game optimizing services. You will need to stop these apps from connecting to the internet and the rationale behind this is to prevent these apps from redownloading the GOS app list. Now, once you've disconnected the apps from the internet, turn on NetGuard and check to make sure these apps are blocked. The next thing you will need to do is to tap on the app, tap on settings, scroll down a little bit and you will see storage. Now, jump into storage and click on clear data. Now, what this does is it clears every information this app currently holds, which would include the GOS app list, which it uses to know what devices, what apps to throttle. You will need to carry out this step for game booster, game launcher, and game optimizing service. Once this is done, you need to turn off your Wi Fi and mobile data and restart your phone. And the reason you do this before restarting your phone is to prevent these apps from quickly reconnecting to the internet. Um, when your phone comes back on before NetGuard kicks in. Once your device comes back on, check to make sure NetGuard is turned on and active before you reconnect your phone to the internet and now GOS is disabled. You will need to bear in mind if you play graphical intensive games, the gameplay will be smooth but as the phone gets hot this will cause your device performance to, to become a little bit slow or throttle. I noticed when playing Genshin Impact that after a period of time, my fps began to drop but it did not drop as what it was when i had GOS enabled at the moment there are three options well two as the other option is unusable at this point the first option would be to disable GOS system the second option would be to use samsung's game launcher and the plugins is provided to kind of boost your gameplay and the third option would be to wait for samsung's update this video was inspired by Golden Reviewer. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for his channel. I hope this helps. Do remember to leave a like, share and subscribe. And please try as much as possible to stay safe. And I will catch you in the next one.